Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make the voice in Eleven Labs to talk just a little bit faster. And I'll cover the method for both version 2 and the new version 3, which is a bit interesting. Anyway, let's go to elevenlabs.io. You can log in with your account and then go to text to speech. So for the version 2, it's actually quite simple. Just put a text and then you can select the model or select the voice. And I think the voice here is very important because Oftentimes, the voice that you choose will dictate the pace of the speech. For example, if you select the voice for reading a narrating story, it's going to be slower compared to a voice for reading a news article. So that's something that you need to know. You have to select the voice that is faster if you want to make the uh, voice to talk faster. That's just logic. Anyway, I'm going to select this voice, which is actually not fast, but I'll use it for demonstration. Now, I'm going to create uh, one generation using default settings just to give you a benchmark so we can compare it later when we change Hello, the setting Clara. to make it faster. The voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear. Okay, it is nine seconds. By default, it is nine seconds, which is actually pretty good. Now, if you want to make it faster, you can play around with the speed setting. And actually, that's the only thing that you need to worry about. You can make it slower or faster if uh, just slide it to the right. And the maximum setting is 1.2, and there's nothing we can do about it. But I think that is good enough to maintain the voice profile. Now, let's click regenerate the speech, and hopefully, we can get something that is shorter Hello, than Clara. nine the seconds she's been both dreading and longing to hear and when she finally raised her eyes to meet his she realized that some stories never truly end all right that's really good it used to be nine seconds but now it is becoming only seven seconds so that's two second improvement it sounds little but remember this is the text if you want uh, if you are making uh if you have lots of text then the gap will be even wider so i think that's pretty good now uh, that was for version 2 and you know any other models that is smaller than version 2 how about the version 3 which is very interesting because it doesn't come with a feature to let you adjust the speed there's only stability there is no speed settings so how do you work with that well it is actually there is no known way in the version 3 in 11 labs to make the voice to speak faster but Maybe we can utilize one feature from version 3, which is the, the tag feature. So in version 3, it is quite possible to add some expression or instruction to AI about how it should be reading the content. For example, if I want to make the narrator to sound more angry, I can uh, write that in this manner. There is a square bracket and it will read this entire text with this angry expression so that's basically how it works you can also add another tag in the middle like you, got, you want to change the emotion like it's going to be happy and this section of the text will be read with this emotion with the happy emotion now let me give you a quick demonstration a, a quick benchmark benchmark <clears throat> i'm going to be using the default setting so we can compare it later Hello, right. Clara, mm. came the voice she'd been. Um, all right, so it is 12 seconds and it makes a lot of sense because the version 3 model is actually much more expressive. So it makes sense for it to sound slower. So how do we make it faster? Well, I found only one method that I could use to make the version 3 voices to be faster, which is by using tags. So I'm going to add this tag at the beginning and you can use the square bracket. So you can use either hurry it or you can also use the, I forgot the name. Sorry, it's Rust. It's Rust or you can make it quick. It's up to you. So these tags could work, but on my testing, these are not quite consistent. Maybe because this model is still in alpha and that's why we cannot just uh, hope that it will work. There are so many things that could go wrong and uh, even if you're not including this, uh, it's still making some weird noises sometimes. So that's something that you need to know. It is still highly, highly experimental. But anyway, here's how you can do it. I'm going to replace it with Rust. That's the keyword or the tag that I'm going to use. And yeah, let's generate the speech and hopefully we can get something that is faster than 12 seconds. Oh, I forgot to mention that I do recommend to set the stability to robust. It usually will help make the audio to sound faster 
let me click this oh sorry let me click generate switch and yeah let's see what we will get hello clara came the voice she'd been okay it still says 12 seconds but it is often not accurate so let me refresh the page it can happen so sometimes the duration never changed even though the actual duration actually changed but the number didn't change at all okay let me just open it again okay this is the latest one, latest one rush oh, okay <laughs> that's very interesting hello clara came the voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear as you can see it is becoming only eight seconds so this is the latest generation and this one actually has a problem rush yeah it is reading rust yeah it can happen sometimes it will read the tag and also the improvement is very little it's only one second faster while this one the second generation hello clara came the voice she it's a lot faster at eight seconds so it used to be 12 but now it is eight seconds so again you can use the tag like rust or hurried or quick so these tags do work for me sometimes because again there are many things that could go wrong it's still experimental but at least you can try these methods to make the voice uh, in 11 labs to talk faster now that's basically from me uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video have a great day